Hello everyone, this is Jim, and welcome to episode 13 of OBS Explore, our little mod pack built around the mod Advent of Ascension. Hope you're keeping well, looking after yourselves. Um, you might be able to tell my voice is a little bit different today. Yes, I've got a cold, but uh, we're going to battle through. Hopefully I'll not sniff and cough and things too much in your ear. We'll do our best. Um, but uh, we're not going to let a cold stop us. No, today we're going to we're going to keep going, keep moving on with the mods and things. So uh, yeah, now first up, I um, want to say thank you to everyone who's been watching and uh, putting comments on the series, and hope you're enjoying it. And sounds like you, some of you are enjoying it. So really happy to hear that. And um, uh, yeah, so yeah, keep the comments coming. Um, there was a comment the other day from Crackers, I think it was. Uh, asking about Gilded Banners. Yes, Crackers, I do know about Gilded Banners. I just forgot about them. Um, I had actually... <laughs> excuse my voice. I had actually planned to put them in the base in a particular spot, and I completely forgot, so thank you for reminding me. And also about staves using them as weapons. I, I guess I was looking more at the uh, defensive capabilities of staves in the last episode, but um, yeah, it's not a bad idea. I'll have to look into that more, being able to sort of spam click them uh, while chewing through the runes but um, we'll keep an eye on that so I'll, I'll look more into that so uh, and thanks for your words kind words and everything I'm glad you're enjoying the series so uh, yeah but today guys today we are here in the overworld as you can see time to take on a boss yes we're gonna take on Corallus today um, not overly confident about fighting Corallus but you never know we'll see how we go I think he's got over 900 hearts and uh, so he's mainly a water boss there's something we have to do to get him to spawn which we'll do in a sec um, so we're basically going to try and stay in the water because he does more damage to us on land than in water so he basically will use melee damage against us and occasionally fly up into the air and, and shoot projectiles at us so we're going to have to keep an eye on him so I'm going today with the Hydrangic Armour here. Well, oh, sorry, Utopian. Utopian, there's so many armors. Um, so grants massively increased healing in water. So this is what we're going for today. Uh, as you can see, I've got Protection 4 on all the pieces and also Respiration on the helmet. So we'll give this a go. Uh, I've got plenty of other weapons. We've got this KU Staff, which will give us, um, basically gives us absorption. So a six heart shield, and it uses energy runes, which we have in here. Got some energy runes ready to go. Uh, yeah, so all the other weapons, I think, uh, tablet of health to restore our, our um, full health. So I think we're going to be good to go. So how do we go about spawning Corallus? Well, just over in this direction, there's a little uh, underwater temple. Now, I did a lot of uh, exploring on our horse, our poor dear departed horse, um, a little while ago and marked this temple out. You guys go away. <laughs> uh, so it's just over this way a bit. Um, and in this temple, oh, we've got all these other guys to deal with. Uh, go away, go away. And you go away. Thank you. <laughs> so let's see, where is it? It's somewhere out here. Oh, you can probably see something through there. Uh, now, basically, if I can bring up the map, uh, where is Ah, there you see on the map there, just under the water. It might be a bit tricky to see. So there's a mob there, a hunter mob, called an Amphibiite. Now those guys have a level 30 hunter level, so we're well and truly past level 30 now. We're up to 66. Um, so we've got to kill some of those, and then there's one in two chance, one in two, sorry, one in 50 chance, like a 2% chance of Corellus spawning. So we might have to kill a few of these guys before Corellus spawns. Then again, we might have to just kill one. Who knows? It's going to be luck of the draw, I think. Uh, now, fortunately, I do use Optifine as well, 
So we've got clear water under here, which makes it a bit easier to see um, when we're under the water than just normal Minecraft water. Uh, we could use a night vision potion for normal Minecraft, but uh, it looks like we're not going to need it here. I will do a check uh, with the recording first, just to make sure. So here's this little temple. Oop. Ah, oh, there's one. Okay, here's an amphibiote. So let's... Oop. And he died, and no Corellus. But these guys drop these, so we will want to collect these. We'll look at the use for these later. Alright, so I'm going to have to basically hang around here. Uh, where are they going to come out? Is there an entrance? Uh, hang around here until Corellus spawns. And then, uh, yeah, oh, here we go. Ah, oh, look at all those spawners. Yeah. Yeah, we could make this. We could uh, take those spawners and do this in a bit more of a controlled way. We will do that. You know, once we've killed Corellus once, I think. <laughs> um, okay, there's another lung. No, no Corellus. So this could take a while. I'll uh, we'll come back as soon as we've got him. Uh, still going. I've killed well, at least 54 amphibiates now. I've probably missed some of the lungs they've dropped. Uh, they always drop a lung, uh, but we do have some sea banners. Uh, this, was, this was one of the ones we were missing, so we can add that to our collection when we get back to the base. Uh, but, yep, still going, still going. Uh, surely, surely he'll appear soon. Oop, oop, oop. Finally, finally. Oop. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Oh, 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 Quick, let's switch swords. This is the Exploctron sword. Oh, these things, they're the things that he shoots at us, but they're floating on the... Oh, wait, there they come. Here they come. Oh, there they come. Oh, they blow up. Ah! And we, yeah, I've got the Exploctron sword. Oh, there he goes, up in the air. Oh, food. In the water. Heal, heal, heal. That's it. Okay. Oh, where'd my gun go? Ah, put it, the sword in the wrong slot. Ah! Where is he? Where'd he go? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Somewhere. <laughs> oh, little up. Oh, oh. Come on, Corrales. How are we doing? We're doing alright. We're doing okay. There he is. So he'll make a good trophy. Look at that. That's very cool. Where do you go? There he is. Whoop. Lots of explosions, because the sword's also doing explosions, so that probably doesn't help us, but does more damage, so we want to get him down. We really want to get him down. Where is he? <laughs> Look at all those things. <laughs> ah, they're exploding too. Where'd he go? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. What are you doing over there, Corellus? Come on, chicken. <laughs> Brave talk, isn't it? <laughs> there he is. Bang. Jeez. Should have a gun to get rid of those little things he's shooting. He's working on the water, isn't he? <laughs> How we doing? We got him down to a bit. Ooh. Ooh. Where are we? Where are we? <laughs> ah, those things. Ow. Ooh. Heal in the water. Drop down into the water to heal. Where is he? Corrales. Oh, there he is. Ooh. Oh, yep. That's the way. Stay there, Corrales. Stay under you. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, we're doing well. Whoop. Whoop. He's flying up in the air again. Down into the water. Down into the water. Oh, Ooh, we've hardly got, we haven't got many to go. I'll switch swords so we don't blow up the stuff that he drops. Hey, we got him. Woohoo. Woo. All right. We defeated Corrales. Woohoo. Got a diving helmet, some Laborian Realm Stones. I'll just drop down, make sure I didn't uh, drop anything. Looks like something down there. Oh, the trophy! <gasps> the trophy! We gotta get the trophy. Uh, we can throw away all these copper coins. Got so many coins, don't need the copper coins. Where's the trophy? Oh, yes, and the Cor oh, Corby Slabs. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, and this, and this. The Coral Staff. Oh. Oh, oh, very cool. Alright, um. Stack those up. Anything else? We don't want to make sure we don't lose anything. Whew. Alright, I think we got everything. 
Nice. Nice. Oh, I think we did that well. We chose the right tools, and I didn't even use the KU staff. <laughs> ah, there you go. Whew, all right. Okay, guys, I'll get us back to the base. All right, so what did we get? Well, we got the statue. So where's Corellis? Corellis, is he over this side? Uh, here he is. All right. Here he is. <laughs> uh, look at that. Very cool. Very cool model, isn't it? Really uh, shows the, the good textures and stuff and the, the little rib cage he's got there. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, what else do we get? Ah, oh, well, I got plenty of these sea banners. These were from uh, the amphibiotes. Uh, they drop one every now and then, so this was one of our missing ones. Here we are. Mm, get rid of the sign now. And add this one to our collection there. Very good. Nice. Uh, we also got all of these amphibiote lung lungs from the amphibiotes. So, <laughs> gee, I had to kill over a hundred before Corella spawned. Now, we do trade these with a, uh, a troll trader um, who hangs around on beaches. So I did look around before we came back, uh, but I couldn't find one. So uh, we'll look at that another time. But you do trade them just for this stuff here, coral stone. And you can use that to make a sword, a uh, tablet of gills for water breathing, and just some decorative bricks. I think that's the same bricks as what the amphibiote little structure was made of. Now, from Corellis, what did we get? We got a Coral Staff. So, Grant's Player Overheal. Ooh, nice. Um, well, we didn't need it today because our armor took care of that, but um, that will be handy for fighting bosses. So we will uh, use that down the track. Uh, we got 10 Corby Slabs, who's a minion, and we're gonna take a look at minions in a minute. We also got the Sea Lord Diving Helmet, all right. Grant's ability to surf on water and stacks with any armor set. So what this means is that with the stacking with the armor set, if we take off our alacrity helmet, so it means we can't actually jump and things, but if we put this on, it means we still get the effects of the armor even though we're not wearing the helmet. But, ooh, hang on. <laughs> um, on top of that, it does mean that uh, looks like we can walk on water. <laughs> uh, very nice. So let's have a look. Can we walk on water? Ability to surf on water. I wonder if it gives us water breathing as well as surfing on water. So let's see. Oh yes. <laughs> well that's handy. Because we don't have depth strider in this version of Minecraft, this is uh this is handy. I guess if we press shift we'll go into the water. Yes, yes. And then space we bring it back up. Oh okay, so we still run in the water uh, just at whatever level we're at like that. Okay. And now when we're underneath, I wonder I'll have to check how low the bubble bubbles can go to see if we can actually breathe underwater. Well that's that's very nice. Cool. <laughs> so we'll have to put add that to our uh, collection upstairs in our armor room. Oh, and, oh thanks, Sasquatch. We were getting stuck there. <laughs> uh, what else did we get? Uh, Laborian Realm Stones. So this is another dimension. I think there's a lot of water uh, in this dimension, so we can add that to our little dispenser system up here. Uh, and as well as, it, as that, in our dispenser system, we also have Creponia and Immortalis. Now I picked these up in between episodes. Um, there are some new day events. I think we mentioned them in the last episode. There's some of the, like the, the blood event and things that happen at night. There's some day ones and these you can be got from those events. Um, so we can add our Laborian one here to our collection. It's very good. We'll have to check that out at some point. And we got 10 Corby slabs. So we can summon Corby, a minion. So I think, I think that's a good time to lead us into the minions. Now I didn't forget anything else. Um, that's it, yes. Well, some good rewards there for taking on Corellus. I'm, I'm very happy with that, and I'm very happy that we made it. Because uh, I wasn't really expecting to survive that. <laughs> All right, now minions. Now we had a look at these a couple of episodes ago. 
about how to increase our minion, our, uh, sorry, creation level by using creation slabs on the creation forge here. Now, if you can remember a couple of episodes ago, my creation level was at 1, and now it's at 71, so I've been busy. So it means we've got a whole lot more minions we can play with. And I've got a whole lot of slabs here to create the various minions. Uh, these are the ones I haven't got the slabs for yet. So we will eventually get these. They're probably ones I just don't have the ingredients for at the moment. So here they are and what their creation level needs to be to be able to actually bring them in. So as you can see we're up to, what were we up to? 71. So we can bring in all of these minions now up to Blizzard. And of course we just got Corby, who requires level 63 creation, which is what we've got. And that costs 6 creation, means our, res our creation resource, <laughs> the 14 at the top there. So we've got 14 creation resource, and this costs 6. So I think we'll be able to bring in a couple of uh, minions to have a look at. Uh, now which ones? Oh, I don't know. Given we've got Corby, let's, let's bring in Corby. And who have we got here? Draggy, well, Draggy. <laughs> Penguin was also a very low level one who we haven't tried, but um, Compy, Waggy, Spraggy, Craggy, <laughs> Shaddy. So as you can see, Draggy's got some cousins. <laughs> and each one has different skills. Uh, so let's, oh, Helquin, how can we go past Helquin? <laughs> All right. Corby, let's see. Let's, we'll do it outside just to see if they'll uh, fight anything that happens to be around. Um, of course, there's not going to be anything around. Why? Why? I always say this. Why are there never any bad guys when you need them? <laughs> oh well. Let's just do them here. So, Corby. Hello, Corby. Ah, yes, very Corellus Cullery and the Amphibites, seeing he, they dropped him, so Corby I don't think has any particular magical powers or anything, um, he's just got 200 health, I wonder how fast he is, hmm, come on baddies, where's a bad guy, there's a chicken, <laughs> um, hmm, we want him to fight a bad guy and see how well he does, oh, here's the Cyclops, there you are Corby, get him, get him, Get him! Get him! Okay, not bad. Um, hmm. Don't know how fast Corby is, but uh, certainly faster than Draggy. And certainly doesn't make the same annoying sound as Draggy. <laughs> Any more baddies over here? We want to try Helquin. So, our creation resource is down to 10. It'll slowly regenerate. Doesn't regenerate as fast as energy, but. Um, um, yeah, so I think, how many does this one? He needs seven. So we might only be able to try the two for the moment. Oh, well, there he is. Helquin. Now he will actually set people on fire when he attacks them. Set enemies on fire, won't you, Helquin? He's 120 health, so he hasn't got as much health as Corby. What was that, Helquin? Right, right, right. <laughs> Not as annoying as Draggy, that's for sure. All right, let's find a baddie. Okay, here we go. Come on, guys. Get these guys. Come on. Hurry up. Ah, uh, yep. So he sets it on fire. That's it. What about this guy? Go get him. Elquin, get him. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. I guess we could use these to help us with bosses. Um, they might help a little bit against some bosses. Well, I don't think uh, they would have helped us against Corallus in the water. Don't know if there's any water minions. Um, we'll have to have to try and see. But there you go, a couple of minions. Our creation's down to six. Uh, we might be able to try one more. Hmm, who will we try? Ender Carrier. I think you can access an Ender Chest with that. So he's probably not much good to us. Shaddy. We can't do this guy. Healing guy. This would be handy, but we need level 90 creation for him. Uh, Craggy. Let's see, we'll do one of, uh, we'll do Craggy. Uh, he sets fires to enemies as well. Oh, here you go. I wonder if he's as annoying as Draggy. Yes. Yes, he is. 
Hello, Craggy. You're a bit faster than your cousin, hopefully. Mm, is that a yes or a no? <laughs> Let's go find a baddie. Oh, here we go. Hmm? Well, having three of them is handy. Takes care of the easy mobs, at least. Um, well, here's another one of these guys. Hmm. Well, having a couple of them is probably better than just having one, and I think they're certainly faster than than Draggy, our original one. Uh, hmm, not bad. Yeah, dunno. Maybe we'll use them when we actually fight a boss at some point uh, on land, and see if they actually make any difference then, and see how long they last then. Okay, so, uh, banners. So we can turn banners into, if you do nine, you get a gilded banner, and then you can use that and turn it into a bejeweled banner, and then you can use that and turn it into an encrusted banner. So uh, that's what we're talking about with the um, the gilded and things banners. So you can basically upgrade the outline of them. Uh, so if we have a look at that one, I think we might have looked at this very early on. I'm not sure. Hmm. Like that. So that one's got a, a bit of a yellow outline as opposed to the original, which has just the, the darker outline like that. Uh, now I was planning on putting these, put sort of a, a beam across the uh, the roof here and have it have these uh, these versions hanging from that. So I will get onto that uh, in between episodes. Uh, but for now, we've got to go back to Baratha, so I still want to get the uh, the stuff we need for that night vision goggles that we started on last time. Okay, we're back in Brathus, but this time I want to go down, down to the underworld. So there is a, an underworld in Brathus. Um, no idea what it looks like, it's, but there is a there is an underworld. If, assuming we can, ooh, maybe down this way, assuming we can get down here and see what it's like. Hmm, we're going to need some torches, aren't we? It's going to be dark. Uh, shovel? Maybe we don't need the shovel. Oh, hello. Or or here we go, Varsium. This is definitely one of the ones we need. So gives us Varsium ingots. Oh, there you go. We need it for a slab for a minion, and we need it for the Aleconite leggings and the uh, the armor. Cool. All right, we're going to need that one. Uh, let's see what else we can find down here. Oh, and I was just dug a bit of rock, and it looks like we get Baronite ingots as a bonus from my uh, from my high foraging level because our foraging foraging's up to a uh, hundred so uh, every dimension gives us a different um, bonus ingot so baronite ingots which we can use for the sharp shot leggings uh, we can't get this one yes yet because we can't get the zinc studs yet but uh, yeah okay good we can get some more resources then ah baronite ore so that's the one that gives us these baronite ingots uh, as we just saw for the sharp shot armor, I think the sharp shot helps us with uh, when we use our, our our sniper rifles. Oop, Elecanium. We do definitely need this one. So this one will give us the Elecanium ingots, which gives us oh, a plateosaur slab. Well, we can get him too. Good. Uh, An Aleconite armor. Consume 25 energy when hit to mega block. Mega block, 60% reduced damage. Mm, we'll have to make that. Uh, var and we'll get the Varsim too. Yes, yes. And the night vision. Oh, yes. I should have brought the lunar ingots. That would have been handy down here. Hmm, <laughs> keelers. Have we seen keelers before? I'm not sure. Mm, one hit though. <laughs> With our good sword. <laughs> By the way, I don't know what actually uh, was instant killing us last time. Something was giving us instant damage. And here, ooh, Barathus Hellstone and another Keeler. Mm. So, I gather this is another rock. Yep, Barathus Hellstone. Ooh, very, very red down here. I think this is the underworld. Oop. Let's do him. Uh, night vision. Oh, I might see if I've got a night vision potion just to make it a bit easier for us to see. Once I get rid of... Ooh. Can't get him. He can get me, but I can't get him. There we are. <laughs> Alright. Uh, night vision. There we are. Uh, definitely should have brought those lunar ingots to uh, to save us having to make a potion. So, okay. What else have we got down here? Any other, any other baddies? Oh, a bit of lava. 
Oop. <laughs> can hear a few baddies. Oop, here's something. Ah, uh, one of these guys. The Thara flies. We saw these in the last episode. Oop, a new ore. Blazium. So what can we do with Blazium? Oop, we can get killed by a thingy. <laughs> Uh, okay, Blazium, there it is. So we can get the Blazium ingots, and with that, we can make the Baron leggings, which is mm, nice, that could be handy. But we need these hive chunks, we'll have to look on the surface for those. Uh, and the Battleborn armor, yes, we can look at that too. And we can actually make that one. Hmm, once we get enough Blazium, oh, hello. <laughs> A goofy pickaxe with balloons <laughs> and a goofy shovel and a goofy axe mmm <laughs> the balloons well I think uh, I think I know which dimension we get those from but uh, we haven't been there yet ooh is he new? Parasect you guys I want one of you guys to drop us something cool <laughs> oop here's a new guy cryptid oop oh I'm gonna set his stuff on fire do we drop anything. If it did, it probably burnt. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, well, we've just about run out of time, but I just came back up to the surface and spotted this thing over here. So let's go take a, a quick peek at that before we finish up. Um, ooh, oh, oh, you. A Therafly. <laughs> let's see what this guy is up here. Boing. Boing, boing, boing. Ooh, and there's another one right there, too. Hmm, interesting. Uh, is there any way in for us? So what have we got? Baron Castle Wall. Hmm, is it a castle? Let's see, any entrance? Oh, yep, down here. I wonder if there's going to be a whole lot of spawners and things. Let's see. There's certainly some noises, isn't there? Oop. Terrifies, oh, just those guys, <laughs> which we can deal with. Oh, there's a spawner up there. Oop, 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 oop. Is that a Therafly spawner? Looks like it, doesn't it? Because there's plenty of, oh, go away guys, I want to try and get to the top. Ah. Probably my bouncing actually works against me here because it pushes me away when they hit me. And it is a Therafly spawner. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if we can get any rare goodies from these guys. Ooh, I'm hurting. Well, let's see. Let's try our staff in a minute once I get rid of these two. Hmm, health boost three. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, and it gives us the extra six hearts. Ah. Well, thank you, Corellus, for that. <laughs> Now we've actually just got to generate the health. Oop, get rid of that bloodlust out of the way. I want to go up. Ah. Oop. I'll see if I can get us to the top without... You know, I could have peeled up, peel it up on the outside, but that really would have been cheating, wouldn't it? I'll get us up to the top. Oop. Well, that didn't take long. It's like five seconds later. <laughs> and we have a mineralization station. Okay, uh, barren glass, nice. Mineralization station, okay, I'm gonna have to find out what that guy can do for us. Um, but yeah, oh, nice. There's definitely some other noises around, isn't there? <laughs> More than just the Theraflies. Uh, but that's gonna do us today, guys. I think we've had a very successful day. I really wasn't expecting to, uh, to take on Corellus and survive have some coins. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you know, hopefully you've been able to understand me. I haven't been sniffing and coughing too much for you. Um, but yeah, good day today. We got we got this from Corellus. And yeah, it looks like it's going to be a very handy little, little implement for us to use in the upcoming boss fights. Now next episode, I'll, uh, I think we need to do a bit of a stock take on our armor situation, on our little collection there. So uh, I'll do a bit of mining from around here in Barathus, get the stuff we need here, and we'll look at seeing what uh, what armor we can get now, and also the night vision goggles. Uh, yeah, 
So, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, do appreciate it. And hope you enjoyed the episode, and we'll see you in the next episode.